Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a look at a piece of software called RealPC. RealPC is a DOS emulator for Power Max released in 1997 by a company called Insignia Solutions. Back in the days before software like DOSBox allowed you to run pretty much any DOS program on almost any computer, you know, companies were making solutions like RealPC to allow users on Mac to run DOS and even potentially Windows on their computer. So without further ado, let's get it installed and try it out. So as you can see here, RealPC emulates an Intel Pentium MMX based PC or incompatible and it says it allows you to run PC games, including MS-DOS, Windows 3, and Windows 95 games and applications. And it comes with MS-DOS 6.22, and if you want to install Windows 3 or 95, you can do that yourself. It has Sound Blaster Pro and Sound Blaster 16 compatibility, joystick support, <laughs> DirectX game support, when you add Windows 95 and seamless integration with your Macintosh. So let's get it installed. Installation is finishing now and we are done. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got our hard drive that we created, 250 megabytes. And one thing I wanna do is give RealPC a lot more RAM to work with. So we'll tell it to use 75 megabytes. and start it up. Or not. <laughs> After a few minor or major technical difficulties and reinstalling an operating system, real PC works. And it always wants to register. Here we go. And if you're familiar with DOS, this will look very familiar to you because it is a DOS prompt running on your Mac. So what I'm gonna do is go into full screen and then look through the options here. So here you can set two hard drives and these are the virtual files you're creating for it. You can select how much memory Real PC is allowed to use your display settings, sound settings. Now you can set shared folders, and this is nice because you can select any folder on your Mac to be used as a shared folder. And then you can set different things to use your serial ports, you can set up a printer, you can set up your floppy disk drive, how that'll work. You can, you can set up a joystick. And you can play with some CPU settings. And currently it is pretending to be an Intel Pentium. So we have a fully usable DOS prompt here with all the basic DOS commands. And let's see, there's a command there. We've got the mouse and here we are in QBasic. And everything works just like you'd expect. So I'm going to use old police quest here to demonstrate installing a program on DOS. So it's pretty simple, just going to put the floppy disk in the floppy drive here. And just like DOS, I'm going to go to drive A, and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and install this.
and actually install it the way it wants to install. There we go. Listen to that floppy copy. All right, now we need to eject the disk. So we just can come up here, say eject the A drive, put disk two in, push a key, and I'll let it keep copying. All right, and there we go. Now I go ahead and eject that disk. And now we can just start the game. And here we are. Playing Police Quest on a Mac in DOS. It's pretty interesting that this was a thing in 1997. Seemed to be experiencing an interesting graphical glitch. <laughs> I'm not surprised. This computer really was not the intended use case for real PC. I'm sure they intended you to be using a much more powerful Mac in 1997 than this. All right, now that we've seen that real PC can run kind of run an old DOS game. Let's see if it can do something more interesting. Let's try to install Windows 95. So to do that, I'm gonna go to drive F, that is what your PC defaults the CD drive to, and start setup. I've got a Windows 95 install CD in the computer. All right, congratulations on your choice of Windows 95. <laughs> Let's go through some more setup. Okay, it seems to be working. We're gonna say compact for now. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Aha. Okay. Need 46 megabytes free. So, what I'm gonna do is quit out of this and expand our hard drive. Go to the HD expander here. We need this to be, let's say 100, no, let's say 120. All right, now that that's done, I'll see you back in the Windows installer where we left off. All right, we're back at our installer choices here. So I'm gonna go with compact again. And put in a license key. We'll just go with PC for Pitter's computers. That's probably not good.
Now there's a funny sound to hear on a Mac. I think it's astonishing that this worked in 1997 and despite taking a couple hours to get installed on this computer, it was fairly straightforward and simple. Now I'm sure the people who designed RealPC intended it to be used on far more powerful computers than this Performa 611 6 CD, but it does still stand that it works, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I thought I'd show off the system properties here where it thinks we are running a Pentium with 46 megabytes of RAM, which is what we have set in RealPC. So that is pretty awesome. Let's see what device manager says about our computer here. <laughs> Insignia director off. Pretty interesting. That is awesome. So yeah, it has all these Insignia drivers for the different components on the Mac. So I think it's amazing that I was able to get Windows 95 running on this old Mac through Real PC. I'd love to look into doing more with this and seeing just what it's capable of. Ideally on a more capable computer or even upgrading this one some more. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!